I never, I never got, uh, I, I never gave a performance where I felt, oh, I'm just faking it. Um, which was new, because I've been in other shows where I started counting down. Like, you've, have you ever been in a show where it's just awful, right? You're, you know, only 26 performances to go. <laughs> only, and then the surviving, that, that's actually the more question. Like, how do you survive a show that you know is... Is, is not working. That's How do you survive a show that you know you're in that you know it's not working? It's hard. Um, a friend of mine said that his greatest challenge was not anticipating the disappointment of the audience. He said they'll discover it all on their own. <laughs> That's Alan Williams. He says, oh, my challenge is to not anticipate the, the disappointment of the audience. Um, I sort of feel like with a show that's like not working, it's, it's kind of like that the, the performance is like a balloon, right? And when you blow it up, oh, behold, this beautiful balloon. But with a show that's flawed, it's like there's a hole in the balloon, and every time you blow it up, that hole just gets bigger. And it takes more, and, and you can hear it going, you know, the dissonance of this story that doesn't make sense, right? And you have to tell yourself, don't think about it. And, but the problem is that every time, the more energy you put into that, that script, when it's flawed, the bigger that hole gets. The more air you have to put into it, the bigger that hole gets. That's, that's what's really hard. When you're in a play that doesn't work, it takes so much more energy to achieve something that each time, like to, to and, and, and you feel more and more Gross. I had another friend though. Who, his his way of surviving it was was a play which was flawed. Um, <laughs> so many. Well, this is the thing: is so much of my work in theater was like with original work that was really not there yet, and and your job is to cover up the holes, right? Um, or think different thoughts. Like the script says one thing. I've been in. I was in one show where I I the script was. Where, where the story needed to go and where the script took us were in such different places that the other an actor, actor and I basically, I think, developed in our own heads a completely alternate script that was going on underneath the words we were saying. And the audience responded to what we were feeling because the, the, the words didn't make sense. They did not make sense. But then when they remounted the play, they couldn't figure out why the show was shorter. <laughs> <laughs> and it's because there's all of this, basically this dialogue going on between two actors who know that, you know, like, go, I gotta go. Basically, the, the, the script it was with Richard Lee, and it was a really, it, it, I've already given it away. But basically, he, he needed an emotional impulse to go. But there wasn't quite enough text there. But we did it with line, with, with like looks that had specific meaning. Until he could, until he finally tore himself away, right? So that's another thing. It's like when you write another script in your head, and you think that, and you're saying those words, it's really disconcerting. You've done it too, I'm sure, right? Yeah, but you must be better at it because you're a writer as well. So, Ugh, you know. It's awful. And then, but then the best was Dennis Akiyama. Um, we were doing a show, and every day, we knew, and we, you know, there was lots that was really lovely about that play but it was not ready and the more we did it the the more we discovered you know where the draft was coming in but he would come into the green room every day go only 26 more chances for a standing ovation only 25 more chances for a standing ovation only 24 more don't read the reviews 24 more <laughs> and it would be like and eventually that spirit got into us the rest of us and we did start getting partial standing ovations. And it was like, one person stands, I don't care, I'm taking what show? it. What show? That was Blessings at Tarragon. Yeah. There was lots that was lovely about it, but it wasn't, it wasn't ready. The script wasn't ready. Do you remember it? No. But I had a show at the Tarragon where Nancy Pock and I used to look out the window of the green room before the show, watching the people walking in going, They'll stay, they'll stay, they'll leave, they'll leave, no. they'll leave, they'll stay, they'll step, they'll leave, they'll leave. Oh. And then rushing back at intermission to say, yeah, they left, they left, yeah, yeah they left, they left. <laughs> yep. Whew. But that's part of doing your work, right? Yeah. You gotta do that. Okay. Yeah.